hell and welcome back to the Reddit League season. This week in week 8 we're going to be playing Estonia. Last week didn't go so well. I lost in Bangladesh against Porksteaks and that put me back into the relegation spots. If the page will load eventually. Because Deep4 also won. So we're back down here. Still got the sec uh, third highest actually. Pork steaks overtook me with that. All right, and I'm kind of in the situation right now where I need to win this week. I don't even think a point is good enough because next week I'm going to be playing against Igardi on a remote world, and he hasn't really shown much weaknesses so far. He missed one week, so you can eliminate one of those right there, and. A remote world is not really my specialty. I might be able to win that if I get lucky. And I will be practicing for it. Definitely. A lot. But I can't I can't put my hopes on that one. We need to win uh, we need the win now if possible. The problem with that is this week we're get playing against Seppo, who's currently sitting in second. So that's not exactly a much easier game. The good thing is I've played a lot of uh, I practiced a lot of Estonia. I think I played like uh, eight games on my own, and then I did another. I did the other three division seeds, and I did all right. Interestingly enough, much better on the other division seeds than I did on my practice runs. On my practice runs, I think I got two perfect games. Perfect in the sense of I found every location within like got like I don't know. At least within five kilometers of location. Let's just go with that. And uh, for four of the other games, I missed one location each. And for one game, I missed two, I think. And then we came to the divisions. Division four, 24952. Not the hardest game. If you can. Oh, by the way, I installed uh, a script that shows where I went in each of the games. I really like the look of that. I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, leave a link in the description on where you can find a script. You'll figure out how to install it. And yeah, you can see right here, I didn't walk much, like a couple kilometers at most. And I quickly found most of the important signs here as well. Like just That's just a couple of steps I took. And what was the last one here? Yeah, that was a bit longer but not really much difficulty so yeah pretty good game here then came division 2 24992 even better two of them were in cities which I'm still not really sure whether I like or not like ideally I'd love rural locations that have an like a good sign close by I feel like I'm better at those than I am in cities Nava, however, wasn't too difficult. I made it to the uh, to the border control point, and at that point, I knew okay, it's Nava. And uh, what was over here? Yeah, that wasn't too difficult either. Found signs pointing me towards each of the important cities over here. That wasn't much of a problem either. Found the signs here. Uh, we were in Tatu, which again, in this case wasn't much of a problem. The funny thing is, you can see I'm right next to a Neste gas station here. If I quickly zoom out and show you where I was in Nava, exact same thing. <laughs> that was quite funny. And the last location was, oh, in Port Samar. I walked a bit in circles <laughs> around here. I first walked down here, up, no, I first walked down here. Noticed it's a dead end. Even though the road goes on. I think it's a dead end anyway. Walked, uh, put me back to the start. Walked up here. Over here. Back here. I think all the way over there. And then I saw signs for Port Samar. And well, I know that from one of my practice rounds. Uh, then I put myself back to the start. Because I was very confused on where exactly I am. Walked up here. Walked around again. Didn't really notice that I'd been there before. But eventually, eventually, I managed to figure it out. So that one, that one went very well. I hope I get the same 
amount of points on the Division Four, uh, Division Three seed. Hopefully, we'll see. And the Division One seed, I got twenty four seven two five, with my only real significant loss of points in Tallinn, where I found multiple signs to Keskin. One of them even pretty much said, "Yeah, you are now entering Keskin." And if you can look at right here, I was never anywhere close to Keskin. I'm not really sure what those signs were. Let me even show you right here. Um, where was it? If I quickly go over here, there you go. Keskin, right there. That might just be an Estonian word for something. In which case, yeah, that's, I guess, my own fault. But, all right, I'll take it. It's not my seed anyway. It doesn't matter too much. And I've... I've <laughs> waffled on for long enough let's try and get a good score here by the way I said Bangladesh was going to be boring last week well Estonia is pretty much <laughs> just clicking until you find a good sign and then you look for the things you found on that sign on the map that's it because there's there's not much you can do in Estonia in terms of uh, vegetation and stuff because it's a small country everything looks the same roughly so the only thing really you can do is find city signs and then find the cities on the map and that's about it wait where's that okay there's nothing there the problem with that is if you don't find those city signs you can get into real trouble because as I said, you've got no real indication of where you are in the country. You can also end up in a sort of uh, bad situation in the woods where you're like just walking around and you don't find your way to, to a main road. I mean, this looks like a main road. Wait, what's that? Blue sign uh, and cooler. Okay, don't recognize that one. Uh, yeah, so this is just what we're going to be doing for the foreseeable future. That's better. See, exactly that's what you do. Then you find Piano. Then you look for the others. Uh, Tostama is here. Then you look for Mutsu, which or Numsi. Uh, where are they? Tostama is 25 kilometers away. Numsi is in the other direction. That's probably up here somewhere. Um, maybe even further. There's Numsi, yeah. And then Matsu is that way. That goes east, doesn't it? Uh, there's 25 that way, there's 10 that way. Maybe even around here. Matsu is this. Okay, so we're definitely here. Let me just confirm that we walked then north. Yep, that's definitely where we were. So let me head back. Let's go the other way. Oh, well. That would have been a lot more helpful if I found that immediately. Herbesalo, two kilometers to the west, maybe? Where is Herbesalo? Can't find that. That's the Vatlan, three kilometers. Um, we can't really see that. Are we up here? We are here, aren't we? I walked so far. I mean, it's possible. Hubersalo to the. Wait, Hubersalo is to the west. Vatla is to the north. Are we over here? We are over here. Almost messed that one up. Uh, though, are we here exactly? Is that a left uh, right turn? Yes, that would match up. Okay, if we walk up here. It's pretty much we're straight here, so we're here maybe. If I walk south here, I get to turn towards the east. I get to some houses and then it turns back. Yes. Okay, and slightly above that, I think, here. 
4996, I'm happy with that. That took longer than I thought it would. Yeah, we were slightly above that, but not that far. Okay. Yeah, I... Oh. Oops. Yeah, that, that was completely my fault. I didn't pay attention where I went. Because what... If you may have noticed, but when I was down here and was reading the signs, I thought I had come from here. But obviously I didn't, I came from here. So that's why I was looking over there the whole time, and I found Motsu there, so I was like, yeah. And it did make sense, but... Alright. I mean, that worked out. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, yes. So what you just saw there, uh, in round one, was actually a rather urban location <laughs> of... Uh, of Estonian with that I mean it was a location that started on a main road uh, this doesn't and that's the usual Estonia location this starts out in the forest somewhere and well the strategy is the same actually walk as quickly as you can and hope for a sign somewhere All right, can we get to a main road? Probably. I apologize in advance if my commentary for this video seems a bit uninspired, but there's only so many things you can say while you're just clicking on a point in the distance and driving through an endless forest. But then again, that's... <laughs> That's also kind of the point of why I installed that script that shows us where we went before. So I can complain afterwards if I took a wrong turn. And taking the other turn would have led me straight to a street. Also, yeah, sometimes in Estonia the trees are purple. Obviously a graphic glitch with the cameras, but it's quite funny. Um, yeah. So we're just clicking. At this point, it might be worth it to go back. But I always feel like if I go back now, it could have been right in front of a street. And going back now would just put me back into the middle of nowhere. Though this looks quite like the middle of nowhere to begin with. Uh, I feel like I recognize this. As strange as this sounds, because this is a random location in the woods in Estonia. I feel like I had this location before. And it was precisely one of those locations where I walked around the forests for ages, took wrong turns sometime, sometimes, and couldn't find my way to a main road. And it looks like a repeat of that. And you know what? I'm going back. We're trying it from this way. Uh, yeah, continue that way. I've got a minute and 15 seconds left, so it's not looking great. If I can make it to a sign with cities on it, with about 20 seconds left, I'm happy. I can still make, make something happen. If I don't, then we're going to have to guess. And I've got two locations in mind where I want to guess on this one. The problem with those two locations is they're on complete opposite sides of Estonia. He met... Uh, yeah. Come on. Good signage. Please. Kadla. Yes, 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 yes. Kadla. Kadla. That's the right one, isn't it? Yes, good. Okay, that was one of the two locations I wanted to guess. Right above of Kadla, there's a wood round here. Uh, I walked west, walked in a straight line pretty much. Uh, how far east do I have? I can probably still go quite far east, so I'm gonna go with here. Uh, two seconds. All right, all right. That was a close call. Yeah, that was pretty much perfect. I couldn't have hoped for anything more. But yeah, that's that's what I meant. Uh, I don't quite remember. It was this place. I'm 100% sure 
sure now, it was exactly this location that I had. I can't remember if it was this one up here or if it was somewhere on this. Give me a second. Uh, wait a second. I'll quickly turn off the recording. I'll show you. Okay, I'm back. So it wasn't quite the same location, but it was the same area. If you look at this, because I, I definitely remembered Huma being a name around there. So this was one of my practice games. And uh, you can see I started a bit further down. I started here and then I walked up here. Actually, I walked to the exact same location, pretty much the exact. I walked up till here to Pauli T. I didn't make it there this time by about, let's say, 700 meters. So that's why it seemed familiar to me. But yeah, in, the, in that location, I walked all the way to there, then reset and walked all the way to there. And obviously I didn't find anything because it was in the middle of the forest and I checked out either end of the forest, but didn't actually get to Main Street. So I'm happy I stuck with, uh, or I'm happy I actually did go back and did choose the right direction for that one. I might have even found something if I went a bit further here. I still had a minute left. Let me just check. Yeah, that's that's even less of a distance. You know what? I know I'm right in the middle of this, but I want to quickly look at that. Um, give me just a second. Uh, if I walk down here, wait, where the... Wait, okay, never mind. I'm not finding it like this. Walked down here and up there and walked over there. Would I have found useful signs? Wait, where? No, other way. All right. Um. Wait, where? Okay, yeah, definitely made a good decision. There's no signs here. All right. Okay, next round. Cities. Uh, I'm always a bit uh, unsure whether I like seeing cities or not. They can be quite easy. They can also be quite hard. And they're not my specialty. Uh, ideally, uh, my strategy within cities, though I'll quickly check that out. Uh, my strategy in cities isn't different from my strategy uh, in the middle of nowhere. Although I've, I've looked at signs for far too long. Um, it's just finding signs that point me to other cities, basically, and then figuring out where I am based on that which normally does work. Wait, the C to the north. So that could mean we're in Tallinn. It also could mean we're in Nava. What do we have here? Shit. Um, what does this say? Okay. Let, let me go over here. One Nava, two to Tatu. Okay, that doesn't tell me as much as I'd hoped it would. All right, what do we have here? Keskin. Okay, that is in Tallinn then. We're somewhere over here, I think. Because, uh, let me just quickly check out, Na no, Nava doesn't actually border the sea. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so that does, does match up. What I'd quickly like to do is see if there's a side road that matches up, but I don't think that's going to happen at this point. So we're going to, I mean, I, was, I had a feeling that we were in Tallinn anyway because of all the national flags hanging about. Uh, yeah, but as I said, Tallinn isn't exactly my specialty. Fair money. Vase. So I think we're probably somewhere here. Vase, there we go. I'll admit that was a bit lucky. And if we head over here, this is Kreuzweig. Uh, wait, which way did I go? Kreuzwaldi. Okay. 
So it's over here. If I walk over this way, what 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 are these buildings anyway? Oh, that was the thing I wanted to look at. That's tear something. Terrasse. Yeah. Is that straight away here? No, there's this little bit here. And then there's terrasse. But that should mean there's there's a road south of here. Before we get to this place, right? This all looks much smaller in real life than it does on the map. There's an Estonian flag on either side here. What is this actually? Villaroy and Bosch. That's this building. And we're sort of in the middle, but still on here. That should be enough for 5k. Okay, so that's three out of five done. Two more to go. So far, I'm still on track. Nothing I haven't found yet, although some of them were cutting it really close. And we're back in the wilderness of Estonia. Though I don't mind that really, because I do think I have a better chance of making up points there. Obviously, the same applies to losing points here. But if we're in the city, in a city in Estonia five times, people aren't going to get that wrong five times. Or even, even once, probably. I mean, some of them would, but not, not separate, probably. As I know my luck. All right, dead end. I don't mind dead ends in Estonia. Because at least it tells me uh, that no one else will find anything in that direction either. And I can just choose the other one without having to worry about it. That being said, there was probably a sign right around the corner somewhere on a turn that I didn't take or something like that. Okay, still middle of nowhere around here. Let's head down here then. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a main road right around the corner. <laughs> it actually looks like we're going further and further into nothingness. More woods. But you never lose hope in Estonia. That's something else I, I found out while playing... Uh, oh god, we're actually heading into the forest. While playing through challenges to practice is that even if it looks like there can't be any main road close to here, sometimes that just is, like this one right here. Uh, cutesy. All right, let's continue this way. Main roads in Estonia appear uh, like appear out of nowhere. One second, you're in the middle of a forest and it looks like civilization couldn't be any further away. The next second, main road, you are like five kilometers from Tallinn or somewhere. Now, the problem with main roads is it still doesn't guarantee you that you'll find useful signs, as you can see right here. Eventually, they are there, but it can take a couple of kilometers. I just hope that I don't miss any with my clicking. It's unlikely that I do. Oh, God, no. Yeah, okay. We can go on this way. Because Estonia is generally relatively well signed. You'll usually find signs for everything you need, like this one. Thank you very much. We are 81 kilometers off Tartu. Uh, let's look for the yellow roads. There's the 39, but uh, the 22 comes first. That's there. Uh, Lekvere and Simuna. Simuna, I recognize Simuna. Lekvere is here, 23. Simuna is here, 14. And it's the 124. We're probably here somewhere. Uh, Cuero is 17 kilometers the other way. So we definitely are here. And we came from the north of here. We made it there through the woods. Uh, 
That's a straight north road here, this one. I'd argue that's probably roughly where we are. I hope at least. I'm going to lose a couple points here. I know that, but four kilometers. We were further up. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It could have been worse. Not happy about it, but... I've had worse rounds in Estonia. Let's just say that. And four four kilometers is something where I can say, all right, Seppo might make a mistake like that. Especially because we had a lot of rounds in very rural locations. This one included. Although we are on a sort of better road. Still doesn't mean we're going to find anything, but it gives me hope. What is that? Okay, nothing important. Sometimes with this fast movement, I just feel like I saw a glimpse of something. I'll turn around, there's nothing there, but that's just a trade off for moving so fast. All right. Yes, thank you very much. Pianu uh, Rakvere. Pianus here, Rakvere is, um, I don't know right now, Totsi, wait, do these names, do these roads have names other than a number, probably that I can't find it right now, where's that, wait, is that, isn't that Rakvere, Rakvere is up here, okay, so that's this road, Are and Totsi, uh, can I find those somewhere? Totsi is here. Good, good, good. Uh, Totsi is towards the east, though. Interesting. Where's Are? Are is here. Though it's uh, nine kilometers to the north. But where was... Wait. There's Totsi. I, uh, well, color me confused. Uh, Kuyaru is five kilometers to south. That would probably be helpful to find as well now. Uh, Kuyaru is here. So yeah, we're in this road. Probably. And we're, we were up there, it looks like. Totsi, ten kilometers to start. Does that check out? Uh, not quite. Let's go north. Ah, uh, damn it! There was a sign. I was looking for a sign that said uh, said the name of the road, and there was one there. But Totsi two. We're here, aren't we? we definitely are. So we go eight. The question is just where exactly. There's railroads here. These railroads, are they on the map? These, yeah, they are. How far was that? We walked east to the turn, then walked north. Then there's this thing up here that continues the road. Yeah. Is there anything on this, uh, this straight that could help me identify? Not in 36 seconds, I don't think. If I walk a bit further, I can get to this road. Uh, yeah. Let me check out the other way. Four, five clicks, six clicks, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then it sort of goes out into the open. Uh, yeah. You know what? There. 4995, okay. It was... God damn it! Why did I click? Alright, well, we'll take those five points lost. Okay, so I did perform the worst out of all four challenge seeds in my division, but I'm still not unhappy with that. I mean, everyone should get the Tallinn location that was close to the sea. I mean, if you're going south, it's a bit different, but, you know, it's in Tallinn. How are you not going to get that? That was difficult. I had to walk all the way down here for signs. 
that was a dead end. However, I'm pretty sure if someone branched off the road here, went where I uh, went east, he would have found signs there. Let me just quickly check that. I'm pretty sure there have to be signs there. Uh, if I go over here. Uh, yeah, there has to be signs here. Yeah, there are. Are they recognizable? Oh, yes. All right. So that's definitely doable if you went the right way here. Probably even this way. Around there, maybe. If there's no signs around here or here, then you're not going to find anything. But yeah, let's just hope. Uh, this this is interesting. I feel like uh, your success here depends a lot on which ways you go. Like this, this whole forest is a bloody maze. As you've seen before from my previous challenge, you can get completely lost there. No questions asked. And I almost did... But I found my way to a sign that said card line. And I, I had so many locations on this island in practice runs. I've had a repeat here in Hirmusta that I got the first time around. I didn't get it the second time around because there's, I, I, I completely remembered, fully remembered the scenery. I remembered what location it was. I also remembered that I had no fucking idea where it was. So <laughs> I didn't get that. Uh, I actually don't think I'd had a, I don't think I had more locations around here. Uh, maybe had one up there, I think, or over here. I definitely know I had one in Heltama or somewhere around this area. So if you had enough locations here, Kerdla will be a name that you will recognize. And it's all it also shows up pretty far out. It's just a question of whether you look for it there. Again, if someone decides to walk west, good luck to them. If they walk east, they should get it. Uh, this location down here, again, uh, not easy, actually. There might be signs here. Uh, south, that we, those are the closest signs. They might not be the easiest to find, though. And then that one was fairly easy. I walked all the way down there to find signs. Those were probably not even the easiest signs I could have found. If I just walked straight over here, I'm sure. And sorry if this is dragging on a bit, but I just want to cover all the things that interest me personally. They may interest you too. Uh, if not, you can just turn the video off. Uh, yeah, those were better signs though. They were not that clear as to where exactly you are. Like sure they say Perno is that way, Pied is that way, Rakveri is that way. They're all cities that you know normally. What about this sign? Okay, never mind. Yep. Alright. Definitely the better way here. So overall I did take um not the easiest routes on my locations. Um but I did end up finding all of them. I'm just going to say I found all of them. This one, I just couldn't pinpoint because I had about 20 seconds or so left when I found the signs. But I'm I'm not unhappy with that. I've got nothing to, to blame myself for. If I lost and uh, if I lose, then it's a well-deserved win by Seppo. If I win, we're still in, in the run for staying in Division 3. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's week's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.